Hello everyone, welcome to part 2 of the Blender RTS tutorial series. Uh, in this tutorial we're going to be making custom leaves. Um, I never went, I never got a chance to go over this in tutorial 1, uh, low poly trees, but uh, so this is how you can make your, really make your own trees. Uh, how to make textures in Blender for the different branches. This one looks a bit more realistic, so let's get started by opening up a new Blender file, deleting everything in the default scene, uh, hit A twice, and then press delete, add a camera, change the resolution to 512 by 512, bring that slider all the way up to 100%, and then change the camera data to orthographic. Object data should be changed to orthographic over there. Uh, move the camera up a little, and we'll start off by making the branch. So add a plane, uh, scale it uh, so it's thinner, press Control R, and then scroll up with your mouse wheel to add multiple loop cuts. Uh, now we're going to start shaping the branch. This is very simple, just select box select, press B, and then box select to move. Select the different vertices and then move them. So it looks something like a branch. You can go ahead and extrude different parts of it as well. Um, just, just, just make it look like a branch. I mean, it, the shape doesn't really matter. It's a, a nice skeleton to put the leaves on. To make the leaf, we go ahead and add a plane. Uh, and then we're going to shape the plane so it's like a single leaf. Want to make it thinner on the ends, or uh, add loop cuts? Control R to add loop cuts. So this is where you can really decide what type of tree you want uh, with the shape of the leaf. So once you're happy with the shape, this is very simple. Like a diamond-like shape. I don't know. Uh, then we can go ahead and add material to this. I'm going to add a textured material, but for the RTS, this could just be plain green as well. A little dark green. I mean, the camera never really gets that close. Uh, so we add a leaf texture there. Uh, image movie. Open it up. And this is a texture I found off Google Images. Uh, now you want to split the window. Uh, UV image editor. And then unwrap everything. Hit A and then press U to unwrap the image. Unwrap the... not the image. Unwrap the mesh. Change the mapping coordinates to UV over there in the texture panels. And then hit Alt Z to preview it. Uh, once you do that, actually you might have some problems with the normals over there. This is because extruding, when we were extruding the vertices, uh, to fix this, just select everything, Control N. If that doesn't work, then you might want to select the part, which is not really looking nice. Select those vertices and then press Control N. So you only flip normals on those selected vertices. Now you're going to Shift D to duplicate and then paste your leaf all around. Select everything, Shift D and then place it so it starts, so you give it a little more fill. Uh, that's something that went wrong when we were extruding. It doesn't really matter. I mean, it's a top-down view, so you never see that. But you should be very careful along which axis you are extruding. So, Blender sometimes locks in the axis. Uh, for, so from top-down view, you never know if you're extruding it in the Z axis at all. Um, so now we're going to go ahead and add a material to the branch. This one's just going to be uh, plain old brown. Uh, it's like shadeless there so it doesn't receive lighting from the scene. Uh, you want to select shadeless on the leaf as well. And then go ahead and render. That should look pretty nice. However, it depends how you made your branch. It might not look the same as mine. Uh, and it shouldn't, you should experiment on your own as well, get different types of leaves and uh, try with, really, come up with your own stuff and then have some really nice trees which you could paste in the video responses. 
So now we're changing the background color so it looks something like the leaves. This is for the alpha to work properly. You go to the world tab and then horizon color should be changed to something that looks like the leaves. And before we render it we want to select uh, all the channels so RGBA alpha channels as well. Make sure that you do have 100% so you see everything clear. Once it's rendered and then F12 to render. When you're happy with that, go ahead and save that image uh, on your desktop or wherever you want to. Uh, and that's it. It's as simple as that. Now we're just going to go ahead and try it out, see how it looks like in the game engine. This part was already covered in tutorial 1, so you can go and see that one. If you forgot, uh, this is just uh, uh, changing alpha and everything. Uh, you, w you need to have GLSL textured solid on so you can see the preview All right there we see alpha is working uh, bring the specular down so it's not that shiny and diffuse as well well that's it for this tutorial thanks subscribe and see you in the next one